everyone. Today I'm going to KonMari my handbags and travel bags. So here's what it looks like now. Each one of these bags up here has bags within them. And then I also have handbags down here. And I'm sorry if I make you dizzy. There's the bags in that drawer. In that drawer. So I'm going to empty out these drawers and pull everything out onto my bed. So I've got everything pulled out of the closet and I actually ended up grabbing um, luggage and reusable shopping bags and some 31 totes that we use when we travel. This is a travel bag filled with um, activities for the girls when we're on road trips, but I'm pretty sure they've outgrown probably 90% of the things that are in there. These bags all from here all the way around are all filled. So we've got my crochet bag, my running bag, uh, journal, and these are like arts and crafts and um, bead crochet in those. So I've got every single bag, tote, pouch, purse, whatever you want to call them, out. If I missed anything, I guess it wasn't important enough to remember. So if I do come across something as I'm putting things away and doing the storage rooms downstairs, they're going to automatically go. They weren't important enough to remember now, so out it goes. Um, I already started picking through. I've got a business card holder that I don't need. For some reason I had a piece of material in here. I've got this handbag that's going to go. Um, it's got some really neat storage and it's a crossbody, but my phone doesn't fit in here and that drives me kind of crazy. And then this is also another crossbody. It has, um, in this zipper, it has internal wallet which I don't really like. I like having a separate little wallet in case I need to just grab my wallet and go pick up the girls from school. So I'm going to start going through all of these and hopefully cut it down. I'm not going to try to go minimalist on this. Just keeping what I love and donating the rest that I don't like anymore my tastes have changed and I don't need all this but we'll see how it goes okay guys I'm making progress these are reusable bags that are gonna go well that's a beach bag but I'm not gonna reach for that when we go to the beach I know I've had it for years it's really cool pattern it's vintage I'm going to most likely reach for this bag when we go to the beach. It has our name on it and it fits all of our towels great. So, I'm moving too fast, I'm going to make everyone sick. This is the keep pile of reusable shopping bags. This is to get rid of and these are all to get rid of. This briefcase type bag from H&M in Germany before H&M was a huge thing over here um, and I've had it since 2000 and it still looks like new and I used it all the time when I worked at the credit union I'd carry it every day I'd put my lunch in it and it was my purse and I've used it as a, a carry-on when we travel one, two, three handbags, a couple wallets, a couple pouches. I still have a very large collection. I should be embarrassed by all of this, in all honesty. I should be embarrassed that I have all of this stuff. I'm not. It is what it is. Um, I like handbags. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm going to attempt to pare down one or two more 
Like I'm having a hard time with the pouches. I need to match them up to the handbags that they go in and figure out from there. And then I need to still tackle this pile. Um, but I will continue to do that and I'll be right back. All right, I've decided to let the girls go through this so that they can decide what they wanna keep and what they want get, to get rid of. And I've opened up and sorted through all the 31 totes and utility totes and whatever. I haven't decided what I wanna keep, but I forgot when I signed up to sell it years ago that they sent me two starter kits. So I have duplicates of everything. I don't need duplicates of everything. I only need one of these bags. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna get rid of both of those. I'm gonna keep one of those. I don't know. I really don't know. This is tough, you guys. This isn't easy. But I'm gonna get back to work and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I decided to keep one of the ones that I said I was gonna get rid of only because it holds everything so nicely. These two are square totes, or I don't even remember what they're called. They're like, they're square. Pop open. I'm gonna see if Josh wants these for his closet or if the girls want them for their closet. They're good for holding bathing suits and such. So those, these two are keeps. They're the only things that are duplicate that I'm keeping. I've got this huge bag, it has our name on it, and then this bag holds these three, and we use it when we go camping. So the girls put their clothes in one, we put our towels in another, and we put, Josh and I put our clothes in the third. This is for our toiletries when we go camping. And then there's one more right here. You can't see it, but it's one that zips all the way around and expands. And we use that for dirty clothes when we go camping. So this is kind of our camping bag. And then this, like I said, I was keeping originally. It holds our beach towels. It has our name on it so we can see it when we're out at the beach or at the lake or wherever. But it's this size, the large utility tote, holds beach towels perfectly. You can just line them right up and then there's usually t a space for your um, sunscreen and water bottles and whatnot. And then here is my to get rid of. So these are too small. Here's that bag that I set, like I have this already in there. And it zips around right there and expands. It gets really large. And then there's a large 